let's say uh, speak about uh, Luxembourgish uh, composer school it doesn't exist because Luxembourgish uh, classical music is uh, extremely young uh, it starts from the beginning of 20th century um, and uh, Luxembourgish identity starts in the uh, beginning of 20th century that means uh, it's now the point uh, of uh, fusion between the different cultures and especially what is uh, very important for the um, Luxembourgish music in this moment is um, um, the fusion between the different cultures. Um, Luxembourg is, uh, is very open country and uh, they accept uh, how you see, I'm not native Luxembourgish, I'm coming from Bulgaria. I came from Bulgaria 20 years ago. Today I'm a Luxembourgish composer and it happens in uh, every art in Luxembourg. Um, the common point is the research of uh, Luxembourgish soul. This moment especially is the Renaissance, if you can speak like this, uh, renaissance of uh, contemporary music in Luxembourg. Uh, we have uh, extremely high um, level of um, instrumentalists. Uh, then we have uh, Luchlin um, ensemble for contemporary music, who is uh, very famous around Europe. It is um, with very big uh, European importance because they are playing concerts uh, everywhere, even in Japan. <laughs> uh, they are working uh, more than ten, ten years um, discovering the contemporary repertory. And uh, it's really uh, very, very uh, high level. We have uh, extremely good pianists, mm, don't say... Uh, Francesco Tristano Schlini is uh, Francesco Tristano is a name um, who is famous over the world. Uh, let's say Pascal Mayer is a specialized uh, contemporary pianist who plays uh, in Japan, uh, China, everywhere, and uh, with a very big success. Um, Sabine Weyer, with the rising star of. Uh, the Luxembourgish Piano School, uh, and the last but not at least, uh, uh, Roman Nosbaum. with the Roman Nosbaum. Um, we did uh, the 25th of January, we did uh, the premiere of my uh, CD. Um, and also uh, we have uh, tournée promotionnelle mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, over the Europe. Um, it, uh, it was already in Vienna. We go to Berlin, uh, we go to Pristina, it is in Kosovo. Uh, we go to Paris, we go to London and uh, to Brussels. I don't know how much the language is related with the contemporary music because we don't have opera here in Luxembourg, we don't sing in Luxembourgish, but uh, the language is very important because the language is the sense of identity of uh, this country and uh, it's official language in Luxembourg. If you, uh, you are Luxembourgish, you have to speak uh, Luxembourgish language, uh, but also if it is the respect of uh, the tradi uh, traditions. 
the idea of organizing this uh, children competition uh, for children composers is coming from my uh, childhood. <laughs> then when I was uh, young, I started to compose at an age of uh, 11 years. It's been, um, for me, it was really important um, to be supported from the family, from the teachers. Even I was, uh, when I was uh, 14 years old, I was to Poland, I was to Krakow. It was um, a very big assembly of uh, cultural assembly in Krakow from different European countries. And uh, I played my own pieces uh, when I uh, was 14 years old. And I know now if uh, I didn't have these uh, possibilities, if I couldn't play my pieces, if I couldn't uh, see myself as a composer in this young age, um, probably uh, I could never become a composer, because the childhood is the most important time uh, to develop uh, the creation, mm -hmm. creativity. The first time I discovered Lutoslavsky, it was a little bit late. It was in uh, when I had uh, 35 years. Uh, till this time, I was only classical composer because I finished uh, music academy in Sofia uh, with academical uh, education. That means we uh, used to write sonata, uh, symphony, uh, all these uh, old classical forms. And when I discovered uh, the techniques of Lutoslavsky, I, I appreciated very very much and I was thinking I discover my world now and during three four years I was um, composing always with his techniques uh, rhetoric techniques uh, uh, to control uh, the uh, in French they say uh, as are controlé uh, okay. controlled aleatorics uh, and it took a little bit time to go out of this <laughs> Let's say I think that I found my own way, or I think that I found my own way. Um, it's some combination of uh, Azart Controle from Lutoslavsky with some model techniques uh, I invented uh, by myself. Uh, uh, also, I'm trying to make research of sound, research is uh, how I make possible uh, to find different sounds uh, with uh, the classical instruments. Huh? You have this piano, and not only to play uh, in the uh, keys, but also inside the piano, also uh, all that uh, sounds one piano can produce. <laughs> it was long, uh, long time. I was the only Luxembourgish composer, female composer, and I was really happy. Uh, to be uh, alone after this it uh, become boring to be alone and now uh, God, uh, <laughs> thanks God uh, we have uh, uh, two three more uh, youngest uh, younger composers um, Dank, uh, one is uh, living in London but she is uh, from Luxembourg that means we have a small uh, female composers community in Luxembourg and uh, I think we are more uh, 
together uh, in our uh, researches and in our uh, composer's life than the men, than the men there. My personal project now is um, finalizing my opera. I will have one opera with uh, Lucilin. It will be played underground in uh, June. And uh, with uh, Dona Sien Dansac, the singer from Paris. I'm really happy to uh, compose for uh, Dona Sien Dansac. Uh, it is a big chance. Um, and I will try to be. Uh, Good enough <laughs> for that for her, and it's uh, my private project with Lucilin. And uh, the Luxembourgish Composer Society, I don't know what they're planning uh, to be to do soon, but I will be really happy uh, if we can continue um, this zooming Luxembourg uh, in Poznan or zooming uh, Poland in Luxembourg because uh, I appreciate the Polish contemporary music and also the musicians from Sepian Sample and I was happy to work with them.